It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn. Welcome to Kiki's with Chrissy, where you can get a little tea and a lot of Kiki. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay, so welcome to our new segment on my channel. As you guys heard, Kiki's with Chrissy. Um, just a disclaimer, we're going to be talking about a lot of topics and our experiences with those topics. Um, some topics are very personal, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we're not outing nobody. We're not dropping no names. So if y'all know the tea, y'all know the tea. But just mind your business. Yeah. <laughs> and just so y'all know, we're cousins. No, like, like cousin sisters. Like in real life. So that's <laughs> how friends. Kiki's with Chrissy even started. We're real life cousin sisters. Plus, like our experiences are lit. Like I feel like we've been through like mad experiences yeah, together. Hell and yeah. fun ass shit. So. so it just makes sense. It just makes sense. It so. correlates. And if it you guys love sense. this type of content, you make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're gonna be sipping wine. Mm -hmm. Why are we do this? Period. You know, <laughs> BTW. Okay. Our wine glasses have our names on them. Period. And we got them from my sister in law, my good, 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 good sister. Okay. I know now she know we oh use these God. all the time. We do. So we do. Here. No, I don't have a problem, y'all. My people think I got a problem, but I just, I, I, I'm a hardworking woman. I Girl, if bit. they think you got a problem, then they think I definitely got a problem. Cause Lord Jesus. Me and my mother like, why you all these bottles in here? But yeah, yeah we're gonna be talking about hookup culture. Yes. And we finna get spicy. We're gonna we're, get we're, into we're it. it. <laughs> kind of. I don't know. We're just gonna get into it. It's just we're just here just to talk. Like, no, yeah, let's and see if we're yeah. we're not paying for therapy. It's like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. No, we both in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not to give you this truly. Sorry, I'm just, just saying this is help. another therapeutic, another therapy. Yes, method. this is a form of therapy. And here, no, a yes. form of therapy for us. Yeah, and close your eyes. A lot of stuff. Let's 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 get into it. So, so what's what's like a hookup for you? Like, what's the definition of a hookup mm -hmm. for you? Hold on, or me... how would you describe hookup or hookup culture? Whatever closely relates to you. I know. Hookup, I feel like for me, I can't speak on every other woman, it's different. Mm -hmm. Hookup culture can't just be people I'm talking to or entertaining. I don't always gotta get intimate and sexual with. Period. But, um, <laughs> hold on, I gotta think. Okay, well, I can say for me, <laughs> go. Yeah, I'm like, I can say for hookup for me, always, like, it's not always changing, but it's yeah. changed, like, from a jet to now, mm -hmm. it's not the same. Like, I can honestly say, as a 19 year old, because yep. I started hooking up probably when I was like 19, 20. Yeah. Because Ooh, when I was 19, get into it. Yeah. when I was 19, I, um, I got out this situation shit, mm -hmm. and I just had to, I had to do my big one. Because y'all you know males be on some different timing. So like. I had to start doing my little hookups. Back then, I feel like it's lots of layers to it. Like, yeah. I just wasn't that sexually experienced. Yeah. Like, I just didn't really care to even really get you know in. I was more into, like, he's fine. Like, I want to yeah. I wanna see. You I want to see, see what, what it's giving. like. <laughs> yeah. See what it's giving. So that was then. So it's like. Back then, and plus, I didn't really, you know, saying I was a kid, I didn't really yeah. have shit going on. So yeah. it's like, I really could just hook up with a nigga, not really care to, not really care about like his personality or whatever. Yeah. Like, I could really think he's corny. Yeah. Okay. And I still would. <laughs> just because I had like been attracted to him at yeah. the time. But now, now, 26 year old me, oh, baby. It could ne like, I could never, I could never do that no more. No. Like, hook up to me right now means. That means that's just not my man. Right. Damn near. But damn near. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Close enough. And I think he trusts up Close the lip. Enough. No, literally, it's not my man, but he's basically my Damn man. near. Like, yeah. we have to get, I have to like you. Yeah. We have to have a se sexual chemistry because that's kind of what I'm into. It's like, I find my person yeah. and I build that rapport with them because yeah. I want to, I, I'm not trying to go link up with somebody on a junk night go back home like yeah no i'm gonna link up with you we're gonna chill we're gonna roll up we're gonna vibe out All right we're gonna knock it down a few times yeah and <laughs> yeah and i'm gonna like you yeah you feel what i'm saying we're gonna be cool like i'm not gonna feel weird about you yeah or, or just like overthinking or over yeah like i'm thinking. never gonna have to worry like damn does this nigga want me out my house like got, want me out the house do i gotta leave like shit like that i'm yeah. not listen not i'm not even thinking about it Okay. Cause yeah. So okay. that's that's how it it's transformed for me. No, yeah, heavy. Okay, I like that. Period. I know what I'm gonna say now. Okay. okay. No, I like that. <laughs> I feel 
like hookup culture because I'm happy you brought it back to the age thing. Mm-hmm. I felt like I wasn't really hooking up like that until after I feel like my second real boyfriend. Who people may or may not know, but it's okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, like after leaving that relationship and everything, I was like, I'm outside. Period. But not outside, not in terms of like just ready to give it up to people easily, but outside, like I'm ready to experience certain things. Ready to live, like and, we're young. And just like not... Make just, memories. Yeah, and not just holding down just to one person. Because mm-hmm. like that situation was crazy. For no reason. We moving on, but y'all gotta hear about it. <laughs> but I felt like I started hooking up right after. And I felt like I'm in a type of, I'm a one man type of girl. Like I can't hook up with multiple people. Um... I gotta be into you. I gotta like you. Hookup mm-hmm. culture. I feel like for me, and I feel like pretty much for us, we have standards. Right. Yeah. Even back then, like we, I'm not hooking Listen, up with nobody that's just a bum. We're 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 the or just girls not, now. Uh, yeah. Hate no. to say it. Hate Mm-mm. to say it. Mm-mm. When we was 1920, we were still ahead of our time. Don't get it twisted. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? We was teenagers now. It's no. not going down like that. I'm yeah, sorry. It's more. I feel Thanks. like we're just more mature, and a lot of guys. We got a lot shit. of shit going on. So it's just like I'm not so quick to. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like, bitch, we got a lot of shit going on. We're just those bitches. <laughs> we are. So we it's do. like, I'm we just got a lot not. Of stuff going on. Like, for real, though. No, no bum Don't ass. got shit going on, ass nigga. Yeah. That's boring. I could be at home. Yeah, no. You yeah, know what I no, mean? No. But yeah, no. I feel like hooking up culture, you have to have standards. But mm-hmm. I feel like it started developing after my second, I feel like, real relationship that I was really attached to. Um, And obviously, the older you get, the more your standards become higher. You're not selling for nothing. Because, like I said, a lot of these men. And on nothing, Perfect. and I feel like, and I we talk about it all the time. I wish the Felinda now, if y'all don't know my phone name is Felinda, <laughs> the Felinda now, if it was me back then, I would have been shitting on everybody, literally, like everyone, like no one could finesse me. The things I used to do, waiting after school late at night just to link with people. <laughs> Yeah, I used to be on college campus. Yeah, yeah, you know. on college campus because she didn't want to go home yet. Yeah, and so I would do schoolwork. She I'm was a, sick. I'm a good at the school for hours. Yeah, and she know waiting that. for that man to come get her. Yeah, <laughs> bad news. But the thing is, I was a good kid. School, whatever. But yeah, not. Nah. But no, to. I feel like we're pretty. We're not as bad as our parents. I feel like put us out to be. I thought mm. we still handed our business. Like, my mom would still get on me for certain things. So I did what I was supposed to do. Working, always. helping the house. Always. always in school. Always doing my schoolwork. So, always. What do you mean I can't come home at a certain time? I'm paying for my own schooling. Period. But Haitian parents is weird. I don't know. Period. Yeah. So, that's just that on that. The way I see it, like, nowadays, it's... Then- it's weird. I feel like it's kind of like a game, like who don't give a fuck more. Right. And I'm For not reason. I'm not interested in that because no no cap. Mm-hmm. I used to be a champion. Okay. Of the I used to be the champion from like nineteen yeah. to about twenty three, twenty four. Mm-hmm. I definitely used to be the champion. Yeah. But that shit is not fun. Like it's, it's not. really actually when you think of it like in a way, kinda like a anxious yeah way to live because yeah. you're like you don't even trust the person that you're mm-hmm. hooking up with because you don't trust them with your feelings. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like... It's always a competition or you always feel like heavy yeah. on the anxiety. Like, it's not fun. I feel like... Well, I don't. everyone got their own standards. Uh, we know what our standards are, but, like, I feel like heavy on even people that I feel like I hooked up with were people I was really cool with. Like, we're cool. We respect each other. You respect me. Like, I'm not really required for you to do all these things, but you do things just because you fuck with me or just the... But That's, we got that, yeah. that foundation, like, and no, not to knock anybody that does the one night stand thing or Period. be hooking up with people that don't know Period. who they are. <laughs> but we've never been those type of <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> you know. Well, listen, uh, <laughs> we we grown, but you Period. know. <laughs> The point is, we we about to be 30. So yeah, like, and it's just like, like I said, like, I don't mm-hmm. know. Not to know nobody that gets involved in stuff like that, but I sometimes feel like it's not always worth respectfully, it. Respectfully, a little of that sprinkled into your life is not bad for you. Yeah. It's not bad for you. Yeah. It's like one of those things that just gets your, like, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe, like, your energy out. Yeah. Because you know how people get into marriages and shit like that and be like, damn, didn't have shit going on, didn't do nothing. You had a whole bunch of kids and never even been down the street. Right. That's crazy. So it's like sometimes you need one of those like one-off experiences. Don't don't mean you do it all the time or anything like right, that. Right, right, right. But hey, 
different strokes for different folks. Exactly. People are probably, there's some people that are built like that that are okay with that, but I feel mm-hmm. like in reality, a lot of us, even when with the hookup, <laughs> reality, and I'm talking about me. Right. <laughs> but with this little Gemini, so. You know, the reality, <laughs> we don't really want a hookup. We want a significant other. We want a companion. Period. Because respectfully, we're certified lover girls. Certified okay? We are certified lover girls. girls. So yes. that's what I'm saying. Like, it's weird because I feel like even back in the day when I was younger and I used to hook up with people I didn't really like. Yeah. It's like in the moment when I'm with you, I feel like you my man. Yeah. But because <laughs> that's just how I am. It's right. like that's how I am even with my friends, yeah, like yeah. whoever. It's like I love love. Like I love yeah. to show my love to people. You feel what I'm saying? I'm yeah. a passionate person. Right, right, right. So it's like back then I feel like because I'm a passionate person, yeah. I used to confuse myself. Yeah. Like. Because when you're with the person, when I'm with the person, I'll be like, damn, I keep, keep, keep. It felt so good. Then as soon as I get back home or whenever they leave, I'm like, dusty. <laughs> that nigga get on my nerves. Bro. Like, bad. Like, <laughs> one particular person, but I won't even do that. Oh, yeah. But, It's yeah. okay. It's all love, but, like, Actually, honest. I'm not even thinking about one person. I'm thinking about a few. I'm like, okay. I'm thinking about... <laughs> Nicknames. I'm thinking about um I'm thinking about um that one <laughs> that was on. Do you remember that was on Is This Your Man? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I couldn't stand him. I yeah. thought he was the corniest, oh, yeah. not funny, yeah. not nothing, yeah. no motion. <laughs> no, actually let me not do that, but mm-hmm. th- no motion. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um just didn't didn't give. check all the boxes that you but I was so in in this time period. It was yeah. like a it was a weird it was a rough time period for me anyway. <sighs> so, oh, I got something. Yep, keep yeah. It's like regardless, I was just in a bad place. Mm-hmm. But oh my god, the way I could not stand that nigga. But it's like I'm just like a. I like to like I'm delusional. Yeah. I'm delusional. <laughs> I'm delusional. Okay. <laughs> like it's just something in me that it's like I feel like it's a female thing. Just I, a little bit. I in my head be like, oh yeah, I like him, and mm-hmm. then it's like I really know I don't like him, but I'm just like, lol. Like I just love being but, cute in your face. But I feel like also that's also part of hookup culture because mm-hmm. even just I'm a piggyback of what you said. Like even after the relationship I was in, like I feel like. At least for us, I feel like, well, for me, if I, I'm hooking up, it's probably, and not to do y'all niggas, but I'm probably going through something, mm. and I want to attach myself to something, or I want someone to make be me bored. forget what's yeah, going on. Exactly. Hell so it's yeah. just like the emotions be on a thousand. Like, you be feeling mad intense, and like you said, like a little mm-hmm. delusion, like you're more into it because they're giving you what you feel like, you know, they're, they're filling your void, what you feel, mm-hmm. but in reality, it's like, bro, you is not the one to fill my a period. Void. But it feels period. good. It feels good because it's like who in the to be moment. Alone? Hell yeah! It's like wants to be by themselves in their thoughts. Like, it's just funny. Like it's yeah. funny. I don't know how to explain it because it's funny. Like I like to mm-hmm. call my friends and act like that's my nigga. But it's like then in the same breath I'll be telling my friends like he's corny. <laughs> He is not the one, like, bro. And just... then I guess that reflects on how, you know what I'm saying, how you see yourself, too. Because yeah. in, in that time, I was not in the best place. Yeah. So it's like, I'm fucking with the world's corniest nigga. What that mean about me when I swear I'm that bitch? Right. So, oh, I'll talk, girl, talk that shit. That's, this... yeah, that's something yeah. I had to reflect. Yeah. And be like, why would you even waste your time with this man? Bro, so, that's why I felt with my, yeah. um... You know, the person that I got involved with after my man, I felt like I was so obsessed with him. Like I said, I used to stay at school late mm. for him to <laughs> slide on me. For him oh, to like, slide mm. on me. Because yeah. at the time, and don't get it twisted. He's a cool girl, as shit, though. So if he, he knows, if he knows who we're talking about, I fuck I still with love you. Right, you know, exactly. I still I fuck very with much you. Love you. So it's that on yeah, that. It's on just that. we got to say experiences, but, but we're not saying no names. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I was very much obsessed with him and just like everything about him. And I felt like... I don't know if it was a Jesus thing, God thing, or whatever, but that spark was gone, and I was like, what was, girl? Mm-hmm. Heavy in that delusion. Yeah, I remember when I you was, even called me, like, yeah, that shit was, like, was like girl, hell no. I was like, yeah, girl, this is dead. Like, I'm mm-hmm. not feeling this. Period. No, no sparks are flying, and that's why I feel like, I mean, it's different for people, but I gotta like my person, and I Period. need to get into my person, and, like, we're grown. That's what makes the delusion more fun. The delusion's <laughs> fun when there's something real behind it, yeah. like, <laughs> the delusion is no fun when it's like he gives you ick. Like every time you yeah. turn around, it's like, ugh, why are you here? Why are you, why are you here? Why are you hitting me up? Because yeah, shout out to my new, <laughs> my little yeah yeah, my little stickle butt. My little yeah yeah. 
And my person, I don't want to yeah. talk. It's complicated, but he know who he is. So. Because yeah, if he knows, then he know he would know yeah. because yeah. I said new. Think of not really new, <laughs> but new as scratch that. Mm, scratch that. Scratch that. Old throwback. Throwback. <laughs> but spin the block. But spin the block. <laughs> And then, yeah, and so I'm that's saying, the kind of vibes yeah. I'm into where it's like, I like to hang out with someone, like, as if I'm hanging with my people, like, my yeah. friends, because I could, I could be at home, yeah. like, I promise you. Yeah. I'm getting older, I could be in the house. All I do, like, when I come outside my house is hang with my friends, like, Literally. Kalinda, all my gang and them, they yeah. know who they are. Exactly, mm-hmm. so I hang with my friends, because, yeah. like, nothing else is appeasing, like, I'm not doing no extra shit, I'm not trying to be seen, I'm not no, trying to be none neither. of that weird we shit, low key. so... Yeah, none of it. Um, if, are different if you're now. gonna take me out my element, then it's like it gotta be. be worth you know what I'm saying it I gotta to be, be worth it. Banging with you, so yeah. shout out to him. But yeah, what is, <laughs> <laughs> what is hookup True. culture for y'all? Like, what do y'all have standards when it comes to hookup culture? True. Do you guys care about it? I feel like now in 2023, you have to. I feel like that back then, even when we did it, it was a different type of vibe. Yeah. Now it's about? like no. See, but now hookup culture is like crazy because you got. Oh. Be okay. You got Tinder. Yeah. You got Bumble. Yeah, Bumble. Grinding for the gays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got all types of shit. You yeah. can literally hit somebody up today and be fucking them tonight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that is crazy. That is crazy because even when I got introduced yeah. to Tinder, sophomore in college, and I feel like mm-hmm. at the time it was different, but even those people were so someone and disgusting and like just horny, horny yeah. ass people. Mind you, when I was first hooking up, like. Mm-hmm. In my teenage years and my college years, yeah, these were people I knew. Right, I just so happened. Nowadays, it's kind of it's kind of creepy in a way. It's it like is overly yeah. like overly horny. Yeah, because a lot of these like Tinder like puts even forth, Facebook has yeah I have dating stuff on there too. Yeah, it, right. But they like I feel like they put it in a way that it's like. A hookup like look you're gonna find somebody fast yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they emphasize you're way gonna more. be able to find somebody fast like remember how eHarmony commercials be like find your soulmate find your love your or husband Christian Mingle. yeah exactly if you back in the for day a person that when it was like the first dating sausage you had to pay for all that shit yeah. the commercials used to be like find your soulmate da, 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 da. find the love of your Tinder life Tinder said find, figure it out I don't know but right. you're gonna find somebody for sure whatever you wanna do with them nasty right nasty whatever right 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 but quiet Read books. Yeah, so it's like and people I feel like crazy that's why now. it's like it's changed for me too. Of course, because I've been getting older. Yeah, but it's just like a lot of these niggas. It's like don't got no cool. Y'all don't got no manners. Y'all don't got no. Y'all too hot in the behind. And hot the thing in the is, ass. Is the thing is though, and again, I don't want to bash no female because I'm speaking on me. Mm-hmm. I can understand like a lot of men act a certain way because they say that's what women want, the majority want. But at the same time, I feel like just as a human being, you cannot assume. This girl or this dude's gonna move the same as this person. You know what I'm saying? You can see similarities and kind of figure out what they might like, but you can't just like. I like. I feel like for me, y'all guys be saying the same thing, and this is why. That's why I stick to my my man's. No, no like, originality. Nowadays. No originality, and it's just like not even that, but like at least like, like I don't know. It's just like mad regular degula. Like nothing, nothing that draws me to you. Nothing that makes me like, oh my god, he said like what. Like, I think, I'm trying to think of somebody. I'm not trying to out some nigga, but I'm like, I, I feel like I got a text message or something that was off the walls. Mm. Oh, no, no. Somebody was like, I think I posted a picture of myself and they were like, um, on oh, be minds. Where's your man at? Where's your man at? Like, repeatedly on Snapchat. And that's the quickest way for me to never, Lock ever you. think about you in, in any type of capacity. Bro, it's just but, like, why are you hitting me up, like, repeating yourself? And it was just, yo, I was so pissed off. Let me say this. Yeah. The quickest way for a nigga to get coochie is to act like he don't give a fuck about no coochie. Right. Just be too hard. L- less is more, and you, you go, like, further. And I feel like a lot of y'all just be so hot in the ass again, and just be, like, so horny. And, like... Hey. Like, damn, you want to take her out first? And no. the thing is, if you want that, go on Tinder, go on those websites, because they got them girls that yes. are willing to give it up. You know, not in my, my life. Of hookup culture, I feel like an auntie talking about it. But no cap, it's like, really, when I was, like, in school, and it's like, you meet somebody in person, and you be like, it's like, sparks flying type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's like, what I'm into. Organic, like, natural, organic. I'm you know. like, I like to think that, like, my life's a movie. So yeah. it's like, I'm into, like, meeting somebody, yeah. having a rapport with them, and then, you know what I'm saying, do whatever y'all do. Yeah. 
But it's like, nah, it's just weird. And a lot of these people don't care, like, yeah. about each other. They don't. They're going to burn you up and send you on your way. And there's a lot of, oh, I, God. So. Yeah, I. Okay. God. That's what I'm saying. No, so, yeah, I, I keep mm-mm. it real cute. I keep it real and, cute. And that's another thing, bro. It, listen, if he don't care about himself. Girl. He don't care about you. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And heavy on a girl, like, even people that I used to be involved with or people that, like, you know, we kicked it and stuff, they would get tested. So would I. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And some people, and not, like, I don't know, your health is well. So it's just like, you got to take care of yourself and make sure you're good and make sure that your significant other is good. Because mm-hmm. now people are just willing to give it up. Like, mm-hmm. it's nothing. And it's just like, not right now. Not right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Girl, no. Okay. And knowing this point, honey, and how, no, no. I know what I got. I know what I so, bring to the table. Do you, for example, say that you're not in no dealings, you're yeah. single as a Pringle, right? Mm-hmm. If you met somebody out and they was lit as fuck and you was feeling their vibes, would you fuck them that night? That to be a vibe thing. <laughs> you know what's crazy? It do. And I feel like I low-key got trust issues. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like I trust people or, like I trust men, but not for real, for real. For real, yeah. Like I always hold a little bit. Like I have to just, just to make sure. And I don't know if it's just my traumas. I gotta be in control. It's just how know how ditzy and how fall in love I was or obsessed mm, over mm-hmm, dudes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have to have a little something. So I feel like, I mean, I went out recently, went somewhere, we don't out of nowhere, and you know, came back to this place and he was trying. I was like, no, <laughs> no, I'm not even feeling I was like, it. How deep you gonna get into it? But yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, he he did not get the cookie. So that's sad. No, and it's like it was never given that because you know whether if I was in a situation or not. But it's just like I'm not. It's like, I feel like, I don't know, it's harder now for me just to allow anybody just to get the cookie or anybody just mm-hmm. to, like, be all up in my face. Yeah. Like, no. And I'm still... No, no cap. I'm still I, passive a lot aggressive. Of I'm so nice, but I'm still learning. Now. No, yeah, I'm learning to put my foot down because I'm too nice. And she be telling me that all the time. So I'm Period. just like, Because that's what, it, what my thing is, why I was, like, so, I feel like more able to be a little hookup in the past because I stand on business. Yeah. Like, if I don't want to do something, if I'm not feeling it, if it's just... Like I could, I could literally yeah. be ass naked. Yeah. Everything, <laughs> everything's ready to go. Yeah. And if something in my head tell me no, it's not a thing. I'm out. It's not a thing. And I dare you to try to play with me. Yeah. About no. It. No. Yeah. No. Cause, Always yeah. trust your instincts. I feel you like you gonna be me and high still in your ass. It's like oh, not- <laughs> she said high. But, but no, definitely yeah, trust your do not play with me. So that's why I've been able to be more. And, and plus, I was just always like more of a reckless kid. I'm like, yeah. my life is a comprised of memories and experiences. Yeah. That's kind of how I go about it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I didn't really mind doing like what I've done in the past because I, I'll make sure not to make myself feel uncomfortable because no Definitely. cap, a lot of these niggas don't give a fuck about you. So yeah. why are you giving them that leeway? Like, it doesn't make any if sense. If I feel like it's- a nigga's not upholding me in that way then i'm gonna do it right like no you're gonna have to do this this that i'm not doing this that that right, or right, we right. just leave it where it's at right. like it's just simple and i feel like it's important i just just as a woman just to have standards with that because a lot of dudes i feel like i'm not even trying i feel like they kind of get a little wreck like they don't care whatever they say is how it is and whatever happens is how it's gonna be and it's just like that's not how it works Baby, if you get anything of this, time, talk, mm-hmm. a kiss, or whatever, best believe it's because I allowed it to happen, not because you persuade me hmm. or you made me to do anything. Do you feel like a hookup ever got you in trouble? Mom. <laughs> 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 it did one time. Oh, no, hold on. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm really not gonna private. lie. I'm really private, y'all, and I'm like deciding how much decipher how much I want to. But we're trying to be vulnerable. So. Trying to be vulnerable, but very respecting ourselves exactly. and our stories exactly. because I don't want no exactly. one. Even though people make our own narrative, exactly. I want to control my narrative. Of exactly. What I say and, and how and, I say it, and that's what we're doing. Yeah. But I can say I'm not gonna lie. My hookups got me in trouble. Every, I don't know how many motherfucking times. Yeah, I think I thought that. That's probably why I don't twice. even fuck around, honestly. Yeah. Because. <laughs> I don't put myself in some situation. Yeah, because yeah, I'm a too. like I said, I'm a certified lover girl. Like I, I'm a I lust. Right. I can't help it. Okay, so. and you know we we Haitians. So Haitians don't play. I feel like with the women, they be mad. Like nobody's, no one's coming in here. Like it's not a thing. And I used mm-hmm. to be scared of my mom like a lot, and my older brother definitely oh, emphasized yeah. that as well. But I used to be super scared, and I feel like 
to answer your question, I got caught once. I didn't do anything. I just had somebody in my crib. Oh, when your when yeah. your mom caught you. I was saying like just in trouble in general, not like parental. Oh, I was saying like I take just that in back. trouble because my husband's gonna be in trouble with like my friends, my other friends. Oh, <laughs> like oh. shit like that. Like oh. so. Okay, um, I'm gonna exit that. Got me in, in trouble. Almost did, but I'm at a work. Sm- I'm a smooth bitch. <laughs> I'm not smooth. All right, no, no, no. I'm a smooth criminal. I can't. No, I can't sir. be smooth. She's a Gemini. Okay, she can be smooth. <laughs> I can't be smooth. I'm a Leo. Whatever I do, but I, I feel like out there. I feel like it hasn't gotten me in trouble. I feel like I don't know because I'm nah, like, what? My shit's have got me in trouble for sure. Oh, what what's got you in trouble? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of circumstances now. That's why I'm a smooth criminal. Wait, I'm thinking. Cause I'm thinking about that. That, but I'm like, I have, I'm a smooth criminal because nobody knows about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. A, I, I'm a. I'm actually smoother than people think. I, I do sometimes let a little bit shit out. And I, I and just honestly, can't. I feel help. like obviously I'm trying to think of real time I got in trouble because I'm like I feel like people that I've spoken in, to in, are different. Are different in a parental sense. Never, yeah. never. Not yeah, since and I was even, a teenager. Yeah, I was a teenager. And my text messages got read for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, my brother used to. Oh my god. Ate gosh. me up. Ate me up. Oh my god. Did, did y'all ever see that that tick that meme on TikTok where it's like. She took his. It's like somebody reading a book. Mm. That's what it was like when my mom read my text messages. Graphic. Hold on. I'm a, when I was like fucking fifteen. So got in trouble. It's just I. I didn't do nothing. I was just exactly. For that me, I, well, at least for, I feel like for us, like I'm more closer to guys than girls. And just because I have a guy in my crib don't mean we doing nothing. Oh, I that's just be, for sure. I just be cool in it, like genuinely cool in it. That's literally how I am. So my mom caught a dude in my crib, and it's that's what I get. But I believe that was the last time she caught me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like one time. What? I never, I never. Oh, it never wait. got. It never really. Oh my got god, people. I did get caught one time coming home. I can't I even get so into well. it because no, we can't. we can't. But <laughs> we can't. I got caught on the way back. I was like fifteen. I didn't do nothing too crazy, but mm-hmm. I did something crazy enough that I hate your mother shoot me up and spit me out. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. Cross we Yeah, but ever since then, yeah, I never, never got caught ever. Um, yeah. Since then, and now when it comes to like my friends and my other, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, I, I don't put myself in some situations. Yeah, but that's the delusions again. Oh no, I why am I? I lie. Now I'm thinking about situations that I got in trouble with. I feel like you do have yeah, like, I do, some, I do, but I couldn't. Um, I, couldn't I don't know why I was thinking. Them. I was thinking about something recent. Like, what was you thinking about this right now? Who was here today? I was thinking about that. But... I was thinking about that too. But I'm no like, cap. <laughs> but I'm I was like, thinking about that too. But I'm like smooth criminal. But, but now I'm thinking about the other situation that I get in trouble. Wait. With um. What's, I need nicknames. Wait, I'm know. thinking. I'm thinking because I feel like who, I know who, what she's talking about. Who was back? Who back in town? That whole oh. situation. I got in trouble. I was doing too much, and I was so. I that's something I, unintentional. Did not want to happen, but it was a whole thing because he started being weird to me, and I felt super guilty. And then he—it was a lot of mess. Oh yeah. Yeah, and one thing about it, we can't stand a spin a block, nigga. Yeah, we can't, baby. You unless, you, unless, unless hugging, hugging up, getting us in trouble. See, but that's why I feel like you live and you learn stuff like this. You have to. Live that's why learn. you have to. It's like I know damn well. I won't put myself in those situations like that again. That's why. Never again. I ever. Just do me. Yeah. I work. You know, I come home. Pay my bills. I save. I, we got goals. Yeah. We're accomplishing mm-hmm. them. Like, there's, there's so much at stake right now. That's that's why I'm, I can't just be with anybody. You yeah. got to match my fire. You got to match my grind. Right. You got to match me. Like it, see, but that's my thing. It's like, with the hookup shit, it yeah. doesn't have to be, like, you don't have to fit a criteria. Yeah. And that's my whole thing. It's like, why the fuck are you being weird to me as a man? Yeah. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, you could just stand on your shit. Like, you don't want to be with a bitch? Cool. You just say that, it. or whatever, or whatever the case is. However you move about it, do that. Right. But it's just the weird shit, like, the... Trying to be funny lines to a bitch key key in. Like, yeah. that's kind of weird. Yeah, just be real. And I feel like it's such a hookup culture. I guess to piggyback what you're saying, like, mm-hmm. y'all men, like, need to be authentic. Like, it's not that deep. If you, heavy, heavy, if you want to have 
many of partners and do all that, then do you. But don't feed, don't be lying to these girls and just like That's you know weird. you're putting up a whole narrative. Trying to keep up with just what? That's just, not P. That is not P. It's not P. It's not P. Like, Fuck. bro, if you want to have multiple partners, if you want to move a certain way, make sure your other person knows that. Because to be honest, y'all know us females, we're emotional. We love hard. We care hard. We're just giving people, giving creatures. So it's just like, out of respect for her, I didn't even, not, I'm not even saying y'all because y'all don't got respect for yourselves because y'all do whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Y'all get whatever, whatever. And then be <laughs> mad on Facebook or mad on social media about it at the same time. Like, you guys have control over your life. You have control how you move. Respectfully. Because I'm thinking about this moment, and I just was kicking with this, yeah. kicking with my friend about this. So it's funny if he'll, if he watches this, he'll know what moment I'm talking about. Yeah. But we was just talking about how I, when I was like cooking up with this one dude, the one mm-hmm. that I said was horny, mm-hmm. um, and I see him on, is this your man? Mm-hmm. And then my friend was like, well, did you stop him from coming to your house? Because yeah. he was on the way to my crib yeah. when I seen his post. <laughs> So, you know, I sent it to him, like, a little hurt little dove yeah. with a little ha laughing emojis. Mm-hmm. He was like, well, did you tell him not to go? I'm like, hell no. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> That's, it's not P because yeah. he's still, you know what I'm saying, he got posted on the page. Right. But it's like, that's kind of like, in a way, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, me knowing yeah. that you might be. Uh-huh. On your bullshit. Yeah. And then still moving forward. Right. It's Heavy like, it's forward. weird when a nigga be on some hiding all the shit. It's hiding, like, lying. But at the same time, you don't want that, that person to be your bitch. So it baffles me. Yeah. How the fuck you be lying to someone who's not your bitch. Like, you shouldn't lie to your bitch either. Right. But it's like, I feel like lying to someone who's not your bitch, it's like, what are you trying to protect? Right. That's not even you. The way you put it, yeah, it's it, not, you don't give a fuck about them, right? So, so keep it's like, this, just, just match the energy, just and, it's, and it's heavy BP. But in reality, a lot of y'all dudes like, like, are in love with half of the girls y'all be with. Like, I feel like let's talk about Let's it. See. Like, you guys are not, and not to say obviously there's men that you know you do what you do, and that's what it is. Like, you don't give a fuck, you mm-hmm. don't have to give a fuck. That's what you stand on. But a lot of y'all do mm-hmm. because I feel like even situationships or people I've been involved in. Even uh, uh, what you just said, like, people that I'm not interested in anymore are not, like, obsessed with me. Or now that are, like... I don't like that. Or now that are, like, so, like... Now they don't want to put up front. Now they want to be all about me. They want to be in my face. They want to yeah. be in my... Whatever. And it's just, like... <laughs> it's, like... It's, like... What's it? That's, like, bro. One bus, next 15, one coming. Right. And but... even with my friend, like, I, I love you. You know, I love you. But, like, even at the time, like, when I... After my boyfriend, like... The person I was involved with, I was very obsessed with, and I felt like he was very nonchalant and like not really giving a fuck. Like we were, I, I, yeah. Let me used to be on his back, okay. Certified lover girl, certified Before lover girl. I love love, but I'm very mindful who I love. But it's like, and how I do it. yeah, you know what it is too. I feel like as females, we see potential in niggas. Like a nigga can never see a potential. In a too female. much, never. If a female's not coming face value, like with it, yeah, he don't see it. Me as a bitch, it's like. Sometimes the nigga may not got it, but it's like yeah. me talking to the nigga, mm-hmm. me knowing his ambitions, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying, the way he thinks, like yeah. how he handles situations, yeah. you feel what I'm saying, if, if he's o- always able to make something happy and yeah. happen, he could not be in a, uh, the best situation, but right. I can see the potential in him, so right. I wouldn't do him like doo-doo. Yeah. But it's like, niggas be on some shit, like, if a female's not coming with it, mm-hmm. bringing it to the table, mm-hmm. then it's like, you ain't shit. But it's right. like, you then ain't shit. And I, I, but I knew, you feel what I'm saying, you could make shit happen. Right. But yeah, it's never like that. Heavy on it. And I, oh, heavy on it. Like, okay. men know their value. And I felt, I don't know how many times I've heard that. Men know their value, but women don't. And it's just like, mm, I feel like, I just even me right now in my situation just learning more about myself like I'm not not that I overextend but I'm a I'm gonna keep it real cool real cool <laughs> because I feel like even off rip off strength women just give so much without even noticing that they do just because that's how they are and it's just like see but now the way I'm moving yeah. I'm, I'm being my authentic self now Heavy on reading so self, how whatever I do the nigga like I'm gonna do how I do like whatever it is for me yeah. if I wanna do something be extra nice I'm gonna do that yeah. but if you show me you a dickhead off rip then you're all set. It's just gonna be that. Yeah. Like I don't really give a fuck about how a motherfucker move. Yeah. That ain't me. Yeah. It just lets me know how you is. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You're gonna be in my circle or not. 
but heavy on it. I don't care how nobody's moving. I'm not calculating none of that. I'm not thinking about being three steps ahead of nobody. Yeah. None of that shit. I'm moving how I move because that's how I move when I'm moving. Literally. So. But heavy and and basically in conclusion, because we said a lot. Be you. That's being in peace. Stop like it, male or female. If that's what mm-hmm. you want, make that known. If you don't want that, make that known. Like I don't understand like this whole game thing is a, it's like it's a lot. And if you want to hook up, that's your business. But make sure your other person okay, just is aware. Okay, just be smart about it. Yeah, be smart about it. Don't just settle if you're for hooking anything. up with a lot of people, let people know. And be Wrap safe. it up. Wrap it up. Put guys. a rubber on. It's not that serious. It's not. See, you know, just treat people like people. Because at the end of the day, we're still all people. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because you don't want a bitch to be your bitch doesn't mean oh, you got to treat her like garbage. Yeah. The bitch, it's she's still a person. Right. Just you know move accordingly. If, if you, when, you, when somebody taking your order at the restaurant... And you treat them nicely. Yeah. What's what's the big deal with someone you putting your dick in? Right. Come on now. Right. I want better for my. I want better for my black kings. (laughs) Right on. Okay. (laughs) I want better for my black kings. Y'all need to move more with intention. Yeah. We was talking a lot about the culture. I really hope everything we said made sense, y'all. And um. But next week will be our little catch up session. So we'll be talking about more current events and things like that. So. Yeah. You know. Things and that. we probably left a lot of stuff out, but we're not trying to make it too long. We're just trying to get a little whatever. I mean, and but again, comment y'all stuff. Like, comment, you know, swipe up, heavy whatever stuff, it is. Comment your experiences. Yeah, what, like, like, what the definition of hookup know. is to you, what y'all hookup mm-hmm. look like. The Probably the cra- craziest. We didn't really dive in, but, like, hookup situation we've been involved in. The... Because, yeah, no cap. We're trying to get the conversation going. I know. And you so, will hear later on. If you swipe up with something to say, then maybe y'all might just come on Kiki's with Christy. And we might let y'all have something to say. So, right, right, right. Put y'all come on. on. Let us know. We're trying to get a conversation started. Heavy on the Whether it be on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Say what y'all need to say. Let really? us know. Because I promise you, we're going to talk about it. No, we're going to talk about it. And we want to know. And... We're going to be talking about a lot of other stuff, but we definitely wanted to touch base first on hookup culture because I feel like right now our culture is on that. Whether it's a man giving you money or you you flying a girl out. Damn, we're Getting flew out. We talk about that. I'm like, it's so It's many, levels to it. It's it levels, levels to, to it. it. So it's just like, what what's y'all thing? Because as you can see, me and Felinda's thing is we certified lovers with girls. Okay. For sure. Again. I had so much fun coming off BTS TV, y'all. Yes, this is my cousin, y'all. <laughs> and half of y'all know who she is, but it's just I know all the real ones know who I am. But we already. we're gonna get Shit, spicy no. though. Like this is just the beginning of our little talks and stuff. Um, we want y'all to give y'all feedback and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, not trying to out no one, but we're speaking our experiences. So it is what it is. You take it how you take it. If y'all got issues with me, y'all know my content. Period. So, <laughs> step about it. If it's that serious, I don't know. And I'm being serious, though. Not trying to make it a threat, but, like, step, like hit me up. No, no, no. Like, 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 no, I'm serious. <laughs> if content you like in this videos, please do not, videos, video, please do not forget to subscribe, hope. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Where is it? It's going to be right here. Subscribe, hope. I got it right here. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to the... All right, but yeah, if you like this content, like, comment, subscribe. We hope you guys love this content as much as we do. Uh, we hope you guys love this information and conversation. Yeah, and our little wind down that we had. Right. We should toast out. We will toast see you in our next video.